What's going on everyone? I just wanted to show you uh, I've been hacking around with uh, Borderlands 2 recently trying to figure out uh, things with golden keys to give myself more golden keys. Uh, and in the process I actually found out it's possible to give yourself 765 golden keys in the game. So using Cheat Engine I went in and found pointers that basically allow me to change the values to that. So I'm going to continue here and show you and explain to you how Golden Keys seems to work from the perspective of the game. Alright, so you see I have 764 keys mentioned here. That's because there's three bytes that store key values. And that's this one, this one, and this one. Now all these are stored in profile.bin. <clears throat> which I'll show you in a moment. So there's three bytes dedicated to total number of keys, 255 being the max number. Then there are two bytes dedicated to when you use a key. So you have your base golden keys in the game, which are these two. And that's if you pre-ordered the game or if you used the Willow DLC.ini um, hack or whatever if you open that file when the game first came out and you changed it to change the value to 255 or whatever then you would have that max value here then this byte adds up as you use keys so let me just show you an example here once I go use a key here all right. once I use a key you'll see this one go to a two Alright, see how it's 2? It's because I used a key. So what it does is it takes that value and it subtracts it from 255 or whatever you happen to have here. Alright, so that's your base, what I call base golden keys. Then you have your shift golden keys and this is for every time you enter a shift code. And basically, instead of having a byte dedicated to counting your shift golden keys, it adds and subtracts from this. So if I didn't have any of golden keys here or any of these bonus golden keys, then when I used the golden chest there, this would have decreased to 254. All right, so everything in that byte is controlled by itself. Bonus golden keys, I don't really know why these are here or if Gearbox intends on them being used somehow, but these two act as the base golden keys. So you have your full number of golden keys, however many um, you want to set up here. And then as you use those golden keys, it's counted, they increment here. Um, so because I have base golden keys, that's what it's going through first. Then um, I think it goes through the shift keys and then it finally goes through these bonus golden keys. Right, so basically, if I set this back to zero and go back into the game here, you'll see that I have 765 keys. Set these values to 100. One hundred. All right, refresh this page, 300 keys. All right, so 255 is the max. And now I go back in here, refresh, boom, 765, right? Now, the cool thing is that these all, all these values aren't far off. So if we browse this memory region, all right, um, which one do we look at? Okay, so that's here. This FF. FF is hex for 255. All right, so this is total number of golden keys here. This one, golden keys used, is this byte right beside it. All right, then you go over two. This byte seems to be unused. This one is your shift golden keys. All right, 
Then you move over one, two, three bytes. This one is this bonus golden keys. All right. And then finally, this byte here controls those keys being used. All right. And then lastly, let me close this so that I can start from scratch. You go to your um, open your profile.bin file with a hex editor. And here you can see that this is that FF. So right there, that's the golden keys. All right. Now, this is set to O2 because the profile.bin is being saved every time you use a key, right? So basically right now, because we set these values back to 765, if I use a golden key, then the profile.bin uh, will change. This should change to zero one because it'll be 765 minus the one that I'm about to use here. Yes. See how it saves as soon as you open the chest. So go to the hex editor and boom, zero one, right? So basically this whole section in memory, FF, 0100FFC, FF0100FF, and then you skip and go here to this FF00, and you've got the same thing here. So this is basically profile.bin, this section of it at least, loaded into memory. And so you can either give yourself golden keys through the cheat engine way like this, which you'll only be able to give yourself 764 if you do this, because Let's say you give yourself 765 keys and you resume it. Even if you exit and save right now, it doesn't save profile.bin. It saves your save game. Okay. So this value is saved in profile.bin, which is only saved to if you get uh, like badass tokens, golden keys. Um, and a couple of other things. If you use a shift code, then it saves profile.bin, right? So basically, if we wanted it to save after, you know, you gave yourself all these keys, if you actually want your profile to save with that, you have to use a golden key. And then when you do that, then it saves your profile.bin. It's this. Boom! I think that's better than the one I have now. Sweet. Anyway, so um, now 764 keys is what I would have in profile.bin if I save it. All right, and we can verify that by here. So the FF is 255 minus one key here, that's 254, then another 255, then another 255, right? So if we exited the game, we've got 764 golden keys, all right? Now, if you want to edit this file to give yourself the golden keys, you can do that. But, just fair warning, you can't just go straight into your profile and do this. Some of you will be able to because some of you will have this. these four bytes are always like this. And then you skip two bytes and then you get to these two. But it's not always like that. So, um, basically, we'll go ahead and save and quit out of that because I want to keep that gun that I just found. Alright, so quit. Yes. Alright, whatever. Close, close. Alright. It's probably because this was attached to a cheat engine. So now, let's say we want to give ourselves 765 golden keys. I'm going to change this value to 00. zero. Alright. Now, because this file is signed with an SHA1 hash, you have to delete the first 20 bytes of the file. All right. So it's always the first 20 bytes. You delete them. Then you can make whatever changes you want. And then save the file. All right. Then use whatever program or um, plugin or DLL, uh, whatever you want to 
see what the SHA1 hash of the file is. Let's go to it here. All right, so this profile.bin, I've got this digest IT, calculate SHA1 hash. Here it is. Control C, okay. Add it to the back to the beginning of the file here, then save it. All right. Now, okay, now load Borderlands again, play, oh, all right, come on, come on, come on, okay. And once we load up here, we should see that we have 765 keys. Continue. Seven sixty-five. There we go. And then I'm still working on this part, but let's attach borderlands and see what happens here. All right. See how this value is all funky. Now, We'll keep that. There's another one that I've been working on. I'm going to load it. Yes. Boom. See, now that one has all the right values. So basically I'm trying to <laughs> find the one, I guess, base pointer or whatever that these two um, groups that I've put together are written to or whatever. So anyway, that's why I'm not like releasing this right now because it's not like foolproof yet for everyone to take advantage of. But I just wanted to show those of you interested um, some of, well, basically how golden keys are treated in Borderlands 2 and the fact that you can actually have 765 uh, golden keys. So anyway, once I get this fleshed out and I, you know, get it to where everyone can use it, I'll probably include the download link. Uh, for that down below and uh, I, I may even just do a new video explaining exactly how to take advantage of it but anyway hopefully i'll be bringing that to you soon so thanks for watching rate comment subscribe send me a message or whatever and uh, take care